one quick little word about post-production. If you're starting out, or you're a freelancer, or you're just like me and you're a couple years into this and you think you might have a little, little tiny grasp on what you're doing, I want to say a few words about post-production audio, especially for video. Once you get your dialogue in there, I would just say there are three tools that you can use to greatly enhance your production value. And the first and foremost and most important is use limiting. If you don't have third-party limiter plugins, look at what Final Cut has to offer. I know they use the same kind of stock plugins that Logic has. If you're in the Adobe suite, uh, look at what Audition has to offer. Even Premiere is going to have those same things. Use a limiting tool to bring up the overall level of your dialogue. It's a great tool because without it, you're trying to not clip all the time because clipping causes that digital distortion and none of us like to hear that. That just ruins your production, especially if you record distortion. Well, when you boost your levels, that can also cause distortion too because there are spikes in audio when people are talking, people laugh, whatever. Limiter takes care of that. What a limiter does is it boosts up your audio with, while also maintaining what they call a brick wall over a 10 to 1 ratio of compression where no audio is going to cross that brick wall. So all limiting is going to do is bring up the overall volume without letting anything clip. I'd say that's first and foremost important. Secondly, I'd say try with compression. Use compressors to try and even out the volume and kind of make it more cohesive because again, when we're talking, when people are being interviewed, Everything goes up and down as far as amplitude, and compression can really help with that. Don't kill it with compression. You can really hear that when you go overboard. I'd say less is more with compression. Um, and then the final thing I would say is, is check out EQ. So I'm using the Rode NTG3, like I said. When I'm recording men, like myself, with the Rode, I tend to pull down some of the low mids because, like I said, it's a really warm sounding... Hang on. This is Oliver. This is Michael, and I'm calling from the dealer processing department regarding your vehicle's warranty. We sent you a final warranty notice in the mail letting you know the warranty on your vehicle has ex... <sighs> With the road mic and men speaking into it, <clears throat> especially because of deeper voices, like I said, it's a warm microphone, so it's going to have a lot of boost in the low mids, kind of low frequencies. Well, sometimes that can be overpowering, so with a simple EQ tool, parametric EQ is my favorite, I can just pull those down a little bit and that kind of naturally boosts the higher frequencies. Um, so just use those three tools when you're in post-production. That will greatly enhance uh, all of your production value from an audio standpoint. Because like I said before, video audio is almost more important than video image. Um, and I, I'm, I'm like mostly, I can mostly stand on that statement. Um, as an audio guy by trade, my background is a lot more in audio than it is in video. Um, and I would just say that's really important. So if you want to just boost your quality just that much, pay attention to your audio. Get the right tools, learn how to use that well in post-production, and you should be all set. <laughs>